if you are winding down your summer garden and you have a bunch of rose hips from your rose bushes and are wondering what to do with them, don't put them in the compost and don't throw them out. You can actually make a very healthy immune boosting recipe with them that I'm going to share with you today. So we are going to make a oxymail. In this video, I'm going to share with you what an oxymail is if you've never heard about it. I didn't know about an oxymail until very recently. So I'm going to tell you what it is, um, how you make this recipe and the other ingredients that you need and all the health benefits and then how to use it. If you're new here on my channel, my name is Anya and welcome to the kitchen here of our urban homestead where I love to share all sorts of DIY and healthy recipes just like this one. If you're new on my channel, I always love it if you like this video so I know that you enjoy this content. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you never miss another video. By the way, I upload a new video every Tuesday morning. This video is a collaboration with some of my YouTubing friends, Laura at This House of Dreams and Hope from Dig the Good Life. They will also be sharing recipes for savoring the summer garden and I'm gonna be leaving links to their channels down below. Please check them out. They have fantastic recipes and this is really for you to enjoy your summer garden. So first question, what is an oxymel? Oxy means acid and mel means honey. So for acid, we are using apple cider vinegar. Um, you can actually make your own. So if you have a bounty of apples, you can use the apple scraps, the cores and the peels to make your own apple cider vinegar. And here is a recipe for you. And we'll be using honey. If you are anything like me, I always love to use local raw honey. First of all, it didn't travel a long distance, but also it is said that when you consume honey from the flowers that are in your area, it really helps with allergies. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. We'll be using equal parts of honey and apple cider vinegar. And then we'll be infusing this concoction with an entire bulb, an entire head of garlic, the rose hips from our garden. Why rose hips? Well, they are very high in vitamin C and antioxidants. And just because I have some, I'm going to be adding some dried elderberries that I happen to have. Elderberries are known for immune boosting qualities, for their antioxidant qualities, and their health benefits for the upper respiratory system. So as we're moving into the fall and winter season, this is a wonderful recipe to help with your immune system. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you how you actually take this. Since this recipe, I mean, if you have been following me, you know that I love easy recipes and also flexible amounts. Um, if you don't have exactly these ingredients, I mean, I would love to add the garlic because it also has um, antiviral and antimicrobial properties, but you can also add a lot of herbs from your um, garden like rosemary, oregano, thyme. You can add whatever you like, citrus peels, and um, you know, if you want to research some certain properties of certain herbs or spices, you can absolutely add those and get all their um, health benefits so that you can make this a super healthy and immune boosting concoction. So let's get started with how I am going to make this and also what I'm going to do to the rose hips because they're fresh. If you would like to make this recipe and you don't have rose bushes in your garden, um, these ones are from a wild California rose, so that's why they're pretty small. If you have cultivated rose varieties in your garden, you might have really big rose hips, but you can also buy them dried in a really good bulk food section of your grocery store or 
um, organic store or you can get them online and no worries for everything that I'm using in my videos. I'm always leaving links in the description box below this video so that you can find all the ingredients that you might need. The first thing we need to do is peel the garlic and we're just gonna get all the cloves out. And I often use a separate little cutting board for using for cutting garlic because I don't have to wash my main cutting board and I don't I mean, as much as I love garlic I don't want everything to have a garlic taste so that's why I use a separate cutting board that I can then wash with hot water and some soap to make sure that I'm getting rid of the garlic flavor so I'm just peeling all the garlic cloves and now we simply crush the garlic cloves with a knife and your hand. This will also increase the um, availability of the immune boosting properties of the garlic, all the health benefits. And we'll let these sit here, which is actually a very good thing to do. In the meantime, we'll clean the rose hips. And what we'll do here is cut up this piece and you can see that mine are really small, that they have some seeds in them. And I simply take out the seeds here. I don't have to be super picky Rose hips are really high in vitamin C. It's actually one of the highest fruits in vitamin C, believe it or not. I'm also gonna chop the garlic in smaller pieces. And I will take our apple cider vinegar, 12 ounces, and heat that up in a pot over the stove. To this we add the rose hips. And the elderberries. You can also add any herbs at this point that you like. And we'll bring this to a boil. Happens faster when you cover it. You can see that it is boiling and we'll simmer it for 15 minutes covered or so 10 to 20 minutes. And you can already see how the apple cider vinegar has assumed a really dark color. So we'll cover it and let that simmer. Now I've turned off the heat and add the crushed and chopped garlic. And give this a good stir. And I'm gonna let this sit until it has completely cooled down. Lid back on and let, again let that sit until it's completely cooled down. Yeah. So whenever your concoction has cooled off enough you can put it into a cheesecloth or I'm often using a paint strainer and pour it into a bowl. Now we'll squeeze it as much as we can to get all the goodness out of the fruits and the garlic. And then you can take your hand and you can see everything that's coming out of here. This is exactly what we want. When there's nothing more to be squeezed out of, <laughs> look at my hands. 
we'll put it in a mason jar. I like to use a quart size here. And we'll see how much we have. It's about eight ounces. And so we'll add the same amount, eight ounces of honey to this. I get the honey dissolved. And we'll put a non reactive lid to it and it's ready to be consumed. Here it is the finished rose hip oxymel. And if you're wondering what to do with it now, the simplest way is to, to just either put a little bit in about half a shot glass or use two tablespoons a day for immune boosting qualities during the fall and winter season. You can let this easily sit for about six months. This will last really long if you're actually going to make it that long because this amount is not going to last very long for a family. So feel free to double the recipe. You can also, because this is quite tasty with all the honey in it, you can also add it to your um, salad dressings or um, sprinkle it over your food wherever you feel like this taste might be pretty good so there's a lot of different things you can do with it but nevertheless you get all the health benefits from it and it's quite tasty if you enjoyed this recipe please make sure to check out this playlist where I have more recipes and ways to preserve your summer and garden bounty. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.